Hey, Taurus. What's going on? I know y'all. I was like, wait, where's the videos again? It's Libra season. I need it. Um, yeah. A lot of Aries energy coming in. And, you know, I've just been moving, y'all. I've been moving around, moving around. And I've been, you know, thinking about, like, oh, I got to get the videos in. I got to get the videos in. Ah, uh, but here we are, Taurus. Pick out these. Had to get my lighting right. I was like, I can't do these videos with like this dullness. I need light. Is that what you need, Taurus? Gosh, it, I know it's it's a lot going on. A lot going on. A lot of stuff that is needing to be cleared. But we all know fixed earth takes a long time for Taurus to clear things out. I think out of all the signs, it probably takes Taurus the longest to clear things out because Taurus just wants to hold on. But when Taurus gets to the point where they're done, Taurus is done. Not wanting to talk, but when you want to talk, it's about things that have already passed. Mm. Yeah, okay, finally. Yes, eighth house, Neptune. Yeah, past. The past. The past. And it's easy to say, Oh, Taurus, let go of the past, but Taurus is going to be Taurus at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I'm just feeling a lot of sorrow. A lot of sorrow. And I don't know from what or who. Oh, Virgo. You dealing with a Virgo? <sighs> Taurus, it's time to let it go. It's time to let it go. Or oh, this could also be Virgo season was a lot. Especially with this Neptunian energy kind of surfacing a lot of confusion around somebody an earth energy a virgo energy or um something around plans uh, something around work something got a little bit muddled in virgo season and you are trying to figure these things out but i don't think this is necessarily something that you need to figure out I think this is something that you already know. I'm going to pull from the Osho Tarot in deck. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> I can't make this up. Sorrow. This card represents this clinging, this holding. On. Oh, nope, got to find this. Hold on. One second, I gotta find this card because this thing went in the guts. One second. <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course. Don't hide from me. You know what it is. This has to occur because you're going to keep feeling this. Living your life for someone else. And not fully letting go. And then you look up and you're like, oh my God, I didn't even fulfill the things that I was supposed to fulfill. I wasn't even doing the things that I wanted to do because I was just so stuck, you know, making sure and taking care of all these other things. But I wasn't really investing in myself. You got to invest in yourself, Taurus. 
and stop trying to invest in everybody else. You you got to. I know it's in your nature. I know that's what you what you love to do, but it's only a distraction from things that need to get done. Yeah. It's only a reflection of avoiding things that need to get done. It's work that needs to be done. Internal work that needs to be done. That you are avoiding by distracting yourself with things that really don't matter right now. And you know this. I don't have to tell you this right now. I really don't. So what you want to do, Taurus? I'm going to pull one more. Ooh, I'm going to pull one more card. One more. It's up to you. I mean, this this can go, especially with this Aries, Aries moon coming up. You have a choice. You have a choice. It's this is about the self. This is about defining this self in the now. Libra is about everybody else. Aries is about the self. Being aware. Getting to this baby Buddha inside of you. This awareness card. Getting to the baby Buddha inside of you. We have air, major arcana, and then we have an air and a water card. An eight and nine. The cycle of cycles in the number before 10 completion. You got to get through one to get to the other one to complete the one thing that you need to be aware. Take some time for yourself if you need to, Taurus, this month. Um, I would say that I don't really feel like money and things like that is your focus this month. I know it's a Venusian month. We are in Libra season. We are in your opposite um, or your, not your opposite, but your shared Venus Venusian planet. But I don't think you're feeling so Venusian this month. Um, get back to that bag. Get back to that bag. And I'm not talking about material bag, but I'm talking about that self bag. Your bag. Your internal bag. That's, that's what needs to happen this month, Taurus. Getting back to you. Letting go. You know, addressing, facing things head on, like an Aries would, and getting back to self, you know? Yeah. You know, I love you, Taurus. Peace.